Hello again. Welcome to the next session of the library classroom. I'm Miss Caroline and today I'm going to talk about how to read a book and how to choose a book. So, you know that a good book is like a portal to another world. There are a number of techniques you can use to get the most out of your literacy experience. Okay, so the first thing for choosing a book is that how you are supposed to choose a book. If you are reading for your enjoyment, you will probably want to pick a general interest fiction or non-fiction book. There are literally millions of such books. So finding one that is right and suitable for you can be so much challenging. Okay. The first you have to think about what you like and also about what you don't like. This is the first thing that you have to do. Knowing your personal taste can really help you find a book you will find enjoyable. Just because someone else says a book is good doesn't mean you will enjoy it. So first thing is that what do you like? What is your taste, personal taste? And the other thing is that if someone tells you that something is good, the book is good, it doesn't mean necessarily that really it is um, also interesting for you to Just because you find a book about something that interests you doesn't necessarily mean you will find it interesting. Some books are well written and interesting and others are poorly written and they are so, so, so boring. So, um, if you find a book about something you like, read the first couple of the pages first to see if you like it. If you like the, how the writer has written the book, you write the writer's style in writing. If you find the book difficult or boring on the first page, it would be probably um, not getting any better as you read through. So go to the library and you can, um, you can tell the librarian what you're interested in, what you're interested in, and ask him or her to, um, to guide you to the one or two areas and show you in the library where you might find interesting books related to your interest. So don't judge the book by its cover. The uh, title and the cover and illustration may uh, deceive you. They may seem boring, but maybe inside the book you can find a very whole world of the pleasure and enjoyment, and it can be vice versa. I said that the books are that uh, can give you a lot of experience, a literacy experience. So, but uh, if you want to choose a book, uh, you should be very careful. Um, first, you have to think about what you like, what your actually personal taste is, and after that, um, you have to um, maybe. Uh, ask someone else, but if you ask someone else and says that a book is really very good and interesting, it doesn't mean that you will also enjoy it. You have to be very careful. You have to see it by yourself. So, and also, um, if you find the illustration in the first pages and the cover is um, so interesting to you, um, but uh, don't be deceived. You have to go to the first page and start reading um, the, the first chapter or the maybe the summary of the book. And um, you see if you like the writing style, if you uh, really like the author style in writing, uh, if you liked it, you choose it. If you didn't like, just cast it away because usually, um, of course, it won't get better if it is not good in the first pages. So uh, the next thing is that the library is the best place that can help you to choose a good book. So you can ask the librarian and uh, what you uh, tell them what you are interested in and ask them to guide you to the areas of the library that you can find the things that you like which is um, actually is your uh, it's up to your taste okay so thank you for paying attention again